Hey, what's going on guys? I just here from another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make some plastic materials, um, transparent and non-transparent ones. Um, so um, first I'll show you my scene. I've just got a basic blue floor, a uh, nice soft box, and um, nothing too advanced. If you guys want good lighting, watch my tutorial on either soft box or studio lighting. Um, they're both pretty good. Um, and then I'll get you some simple lighting that um, looks good. So anyway, Let's get started. Uh, I've also got a blue floor here, and as a centerpiece for the scene, just a random object. I don't really know what it is. I just kind of made it as something we can apply our um, plastic materials to. So first, let's get started by making a new material, and we will name this, um, uh, we'll call it plastic. Okay. So we're going to open it up, and we're actually going to set our preview to um, Sphere GI, so we can see a bit better. So it's not too hard to make uh, plastic, it, it's pretty simple. Um, what we're going to do is, in the color, we'll obviously you can make it whatever color you want, um, whatever color plastic you want, we'll try it, we'll just leave it at white for now. Um, and in the reflectance, you can just go ahead and add a Beckman or GGX, Fong, Ward, whichever one of these um, suits you. I'm going to use Beckman, I prefer Beckman or GGX, but we'll use Beckman. Okay, and um, we're going to use, in the Fresnel, we're going to use a Dialetic or dialectic, and the preset we're going to use, um, it's called, uh, here, plexiglass, right there, plexiglass, and that's good, uh, also, oops, we're going to also remove our specular, so we're just going to go ahead here, click on the default specular, and remove, because we don't want um, that specular, okay, now we'll apply that to our body here, there we go, and um, we're going to also go ahead and make a new one, and we're going to call this one um, see-through class. Ah, uh, we'll just call it um, plastic two. This will be the stuff that's that'll be kind of see-through. So we're going to apply this to all of our legs here, um, and we're going to disable color, disable reflectance, and we're just going to enable transparency. And through refraction preset, you're probably going to want to use well probably want to use, what am I saying? You have to use plexiglass, it's probably the best one. Um, or you can obviously use your own if you have one. But uh, we'll also set our preview to Sphere GI. And of course you can set your color. You can have a color if you want to. You can have colored glass. I mean, that's totally up to you. You know what, we'll do a bit of a nice little purple glass. Uh, sorry, what am I saying glass? This is, it looks like glass, I know, but it won't look like that in the render, don't worry. Um, so once we've got that done, we're pretty much done. Um, we are going to, oh wait, additive? Ah, oh, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so we've got that there. Uh, let's give this a little test render. And we may change the, um, the color of the main body, but um, let's just let this render. I've got pretty low um, global illumination settings, so it shouldn't take too long to render. And there we go. Looking nice, looks like plastic. These look like plexiglass, more like, but that's okay kind of like plastic as well um, and if you want to actually on the main body here and the reflectance you may want to turn up the uh, roughness just a th ever so slightly um, you can see the r roughness is just kind of like how nice you can how much you can see the reflection here so we may turn that up just like five percent just a tiny bit um, because plastic doesn't reflect perfectly so a bit of um, roughness there and um, well I think that's it we're going to instead, we're just going to try um, completely normal color. There we go. And if we render it, oh, render it, it looks, um, it, it looks okay. It looks like plastic. Uh, that's kind of what I'm going for. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe to my channel because it really does help me. And um, bye.